Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, on the content creator beta, here on Te Awaroa, what however you pronounce it. <laughs> We're on the brand new map here based in New Zealand, and today I've got you guys a bunch of highlights that I've got over the past day or so of this creator beta, a couple of the cool trophies that I've come across, and probably the best Seekadir location that I've been able to find. It's honestly an insane spot, and I think once this map releases, it's going to be everybody's go-to place for the Sika Deer. But anyway, we got that along with a couple uh, diamonds and a rare. But anyway, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get straight into it. So, that right there might not be a new species, but that is a level 3 turkey, and we definitely want to get that guy down. I don't remember where I need to aim at 300 meters though, so we are going to have to kind of guess a little bit here, but I think it was this dot. Ooh, it was most certainly not that dot, so we do need to go probably halfway in between. We're going to wait for it to stop being alert. That is also a fallow deer over there. But once it stops being alert, we'll try to take another shot. And there we go. And that is a dead turkey. Beautiful. Well, not exactly what I was hoping for as the first diamond from the brand new map, but it is what it is. I guess it's better than no diamond. But let's go ahead and run over there and claim it. Oh my gosh, so I must have spooked that when I was running along this river. That is an albino fallow deer. Unfortunately, it's a doe, but that is crazy. We have an albino fallow deer right next to this diamond turkey that we just took down, so we definitely want to try to get that down too. Once again, it's not a new species, but it's still a rare nonetheless. So we definitely got to get it down, and I messed that shot up. Alright then, well, it'll die regardless, but a little unfortunate. <laughs> One thing I gotta say is I'm super impressed with all of the fallow deer zones that I've been finding during this creator beta. Eventually I might have to try and throw together a guide for them because there's actually quite a bit of spots for it. So we definitely want to eventually try and hit the fallow grind hard once this comes out on the full release live servers. But anyway, here is that level 3 turkey. Let's go ahead and pick this little guy up and see what it scores. Oh my gosh, 4.70. That's actually a pretty decent sized one. That's a decent turkey there. Now, this is on the creator beta, so I'm not going to save this one. We'll just save harvest instead of taxing it. But yeah, not too bad. We got ourselves a diamond turkey. Now, let's go get that fallow deer. Here is that little albino fallow deer. Kind of sad that it's not a buck, but at the same time, it's probably good that it's not a buck since this isn't going to go to my main save. But we did screw that shot up, went a little bit too high. If we had just been slightly lower, that would have hit perfect. But not too bad, an albino fallow deer. That's pretty cool. Once again, we'll go ahead and save that. Not going to taxidermize this because it's not a new species. And this is not on our main save. So we'll just go ahead and take a couple screenshots of it and call it good there. But definitely a cool find. I didn't expect to find an albino fallow deer while searching for other things. Oh my gosh. So I think what that is right there is a melanistic chamois. That is super cool. The first rare that we find on the brand new map, and it's a chamois of course. The one species that I wasn't super super excited about at first. They do look kind of cool now that we actually get to see them in game, but I gotta say they're probably my least looked forward to species out of them all, but this is still really cool to find, and I definitely want to get a look at this. And that'll do the trick there. See if we can get maybe one of the... Oh. Alright, well... Good to know that they're doing that, uh, that little balling up bug, so I guess I'll have to report that to Expansive Worlds. Well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, report that little bug right there, because uh, we definitely don't want that bug coming back. It was absolutely terrible with the Mouflon and Ibex. So, yeah, hopefully this won't make it into the full release. That is super, super cool. 
That is such a good looking little chamois. So cool to actually find a rare one. Now, I really wasn't expecting to find any rares during this creator beta, but I guess we ended up getting one anyway. And yeah, it is a melanistic female chamois. Let's go ahead and taxidermize that. That is super, super cool. So, that right there is a massive fallow deer. And I'd say it's probably pretty safe to say that this one's a guaranteed diamond based off of those score estimates. So, let's go ahead and see if we can take this guy out. He's at kind of a strange angle, so I don't know how well the 303 will do, but I think we should be able to get in there. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh, so we might try to get him to go alerted. Of course, the only diamonds that I find on the brand new map are species that have been on other maps. Sounds about right, honestly. Alright, there we go. We got him to go alert. There we go. We got him down. What a beautiful fallow deer. Of course, though, <laughs> the only diamonds we ever find are the ones that are on other maps. We'll get one of the new diamonds eventually, but as of now, it's just been stuff like this. But honestly, either way, I can't really complain about a diamond fallow deer because they just look so good. And with Hirschfelden being as difficult as it is to hunt, you don't really see them too often, so this is definitely cool. Especially the fact that we're going to have another map to hunt these guys on and go for our diamond grinding. That is just beautiful. That looks amazing. Alright, well let's go ahead and pick this guy up and see if it's a diamond. I think it probably should be. And yeah, 263.20. What a monster. And yeah, I was right. It is a... Well, that estimate was a guaranteed diamond because minimum diamond rating is 251 and this one had a minimum score estimate of 260. So there was no way that it wasn't going to make diamond, but that's crazy. What a beautiful looking fallow deer. Unfortunate that it's on the creator beta though. Would have loved to have had this on my main account. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and accept that guy right there. So this location that I'm currently at is right down here on the river. And I gotta say, this has to be one of the best areas I've found so far when it comes to animals. We've got turkeys all over right here next to some burrows. And you can't really see them from right here, but there is some red deer that are feeding just over this hill. There was a Sika deer zone right here, but I ended up taking out that Sika. But then I look over here and we've got another Sika zone, only this one has like 10 different females in it. Uh, some of them are behind this tree, but that is a ridiculous amount of Sika deer. But then I looked over here and we have what is probably the biggest Sika deer we've found yet. This very well could get super close to Diamond. And it's got three other males along with it, so this part of the river is a hot spot. We are currently at 10.39 a.m., so it's early in the morning still, but yeah, that's crazy. We're going to try and take this guy out because that definitely could be very close to diamond. Oh my gosh, there's more Sika deer. That is a ridiculous amount of them. Yeah, we definitely found the hot... Oh my gosh, again. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is a ridiculously large amount of Sika deer all along this river. This is going to be insane to hunt. Might as well get another one down also. That is incredible. Okay, there is some more red deer. Yeah, this is officially the best location I've found so far on the brand new map. Just in this small area, we've got what looks to be four Sika zones, two red deer feeding zones, and a turkey feeding zone along with a set of burrows. This is absolutely insane. I can definitely tell I'm going to be spending a lot of my time at this portion of the map. And once again, we got another Sika deer zone. Yeah, this is, this is just insane. I don't even know what else to say about this location. It's just really, really good. So let's go ahead and take out that level four right there also. And oh my gosh, hello there. That was a little closer than I expected. But this guy seems pretty big, so... 
definitely want to get him down. And I could have swore there was another four, and yeah, right here. Get that guy down also. Definitely interested to see what those two will score. They weren't quite as big looking as the one we're about to claim, but they still were pretty decent Seekadir. And it looks like we have even more down there. Yeah, this is just an insane spot. I'm still just so blown away with how many Seekadir are here. But anyway, let's get a good look at this giant. Unfortunately, he landed in a awful spot. But I guess since he landed bad, we'll just go ahead and claim him. 166.80. This is like not even that close to diamond and it looks this amazing. That is such a cool Seekadir. I can't even wait to see what an actual diamond looks like. That is crazy. That is so cool looking. Well, let's go ahead and check out the other ones. This is that level 3 that we just took out with the spotted fur variation. This is actually one that we did not get to look at in the Seekadir video that I did. So that's kind of cool. Well, I mean, we did see this, but it was on a female. So it's good to know that the males can have that too. One thing that I am extremely curious about is what type of rare fur variations are these Seekadir even going to have? I'm really hoping that they will have some kind of a piebald variation, but I don't know if those exist in real life. I'm sure we'll get the normal albino and melanistic, but I don't know if piebalds exist for these. We'll have to kind of figure that out, I guess. But here is this one right here, 150 scoring on this little Seekadir. That is awesome. Uh, we've already seen this rack before in my Seeka video, so I'm not going to stay on that too long. And this down here, I think, might have been the same one. I uh, actually, yeah, this is the same as the first one that we shot today. About the same score, too. That's really cool, though. That looks so good. And I guess I just walked into the water. Uh, we'll go ahead and just accept that, then. So, because of how insane this area has been for Sika, I decided to continue going down the river and... Yet again, another zone for them. That is ridiculous. We've got a total of six zones just along this little stretch of river. That is honestly way more than I expected to be here. But honestly, I'm happy about it because this is going to make the Sika grind a little bit easier knowing that we have this many zones to go to. This kind of reminds me of the old days of whitetail hunting on Layton where you just follow the river and find tons of whitetail everywhere. I feel like this is going to be very similar based off of what I'm seeing so far. But, I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun to grind these guys. So, real quickly, I guess we'll go over kind of what I've found so far for Seekadir. It appears we have these six zones along this river stretch, along with three different zones at this lake and two at this lake. So, so far we're finding a lot of Seeka zones. And I did have one right here, uh, but I shot the only deer that was at it, so the zone disappeared, but that's wild. We have a total of seven along the river, plus five over here for a total of 12 zones just in this small area. Seeka deer are going to be a lot of fun to grind. All right, well, we are pretty much at the end of the river now, and I don't see anything else. Nothing over in this area, but there is a lodge down here, so that's going to be pretty useful, being able to just spawn at this lodge and run straight up the river, taking out all these Seeka deer. Definitely gonna be absolutely awesome. All right, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little set of highlights from the creator beta here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the brand new reserve. And it's been quite a bit of fun. That was all just from the first like day and a half of hunting on this amazing reserve. And as you can see, here is that big Sika deer that we got at that hot spot. Such a cool looking rack. I cannot wait to see what the diamond looks like in game. We've kind of seen uh, a little idea of what it looks like from the trailer, but we haven't actually seen it in game yet, and I'm very, very interested to see what they look like. But next up, we got our diamond fallow deer, 263 on the trophy rating. Very awesome trophy. I really wish that we would have got it on the main save instead of here on the beta, but it is what it is. You can't have everything, unfortunately, and just cool to see one of these guys, but I'm sure what most of you are interested in 
is the Melanistic Chamois. I'm still very surprised that we found one of these as quickly as we did. It's super, super cool to see. Very awesome. I honestly expected my first rare to be a Sika Deer, just because I primarily have been hunting those, but I guess we just got lucky with the Chamois. This is... I think this was from the second herd of Chamois that I found, second or third, and it just happened to have a Melanistic, so that was pretty cool. Definitely one of the cooler looking Melanistics I've seen in a little while. Anyway, I didn't taxidermize the Albino Fallow or the Diamond Turkey just because this is, as I was saying, the creator beta and none of this will carry over to my main game save, so not really too worried about those, but I figured at least these ones we would tax and kind of show off in the lodge. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing because I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week. And I'm going to be posting a ton of content on this brand new map and all of the new species. So if you enjoyed, consider subscribing. If you love the video, consider liking it also because it's a huge help in getting this video shared into YouTube's recommended feed, which is a massive help in growing the channel. With all that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.